Hey guys, 2K here. Uh, just a quick little video, just a funny little thing for Uncharted 2. Uh, just some various flings I have found uh, in the game. Uh, I'm just going to be going chapter to chapter, um, covering the strats that I try to do to go for these flings. There's four in particular, uh, and I'm just going to go chapter by chapter how they appear in the game. Uh, we're going to start off with the first one in Chapter 2. This is probably the hardest fling to get. Uh, I'm going to let these play once and then I'll go over uh, what the strat actually is. So. And uh, caveats when it comes to these flings, uh, the flings are pretty much always going to be different if you do get them. Uh, the bodies will react differently each time, so uh, if you're looking for a specific one, it's it's pro it may not happen again. They're like snowflakes. Uh, so pretty much, let's go over what we're doing here. So the main thing that we're doing is we're trying to uh, get this guard to the left. So what what I do is I do uh, crouch from under cover and I try to roll over to this area here and then initiate a melee uh, with the guard. The thing is, uh, if you see, if you guys know that this point is the trigger for um, the mini cutscene that you can't skip, so you want his body to end up on that. So when you do the melee, you pretty much just have to pray that you get a finisher, whether it's the back elbow, a headbutt, uh, an upper cut can work. Um, you can't do the stealth because the stealth will just drop them right here. Uh, it's not far enough over. And even with this one, I was struggling with this one a lot just trying to... I was just trying to record it. So you can see his body is in the thing. And all you're going to do at that point uh, is just roll into it. I have gotten it to work before where the body was here and I cover clipped. Uh, you know, I went into cover going from here to here. Uh, so that is another possibility. It just depends on where the body is. But essentially, you just want him to be laying there. You roll while going through the trigger. As you can see, it was uh, probably Nate's hand. I'll do it frame by frame. You can see Nate's hand gets caught in his body right there. And just uh, once he gets warped over, it just... Uh, whoop. Yeah, that's easily the hardest of the uh, the four I'm going to show. It's just so inconsistent. Uh, so this second one, uh, it's an extremely long setup. It is in chapter two as well. Just me having issues. And I'm specifically showing from this because this honestly works better when you're starting from this point like this and not from a restart checkpoint uh so let's just watch see what happens uh by the way this one i like calling the fling f-l-y-n-n-g the fling And there goes the body. All right, so uh, with that one, we're relying on Harry to get the body fling. Let's go from. So the key points here, um, when the guards come out, starting from here just makes it extremely consistent for the guard to be in the right spot. Uh, but it's not just that that we need to be concerned about. Uh, this first guard here, we have to get this quick uh, stealth kill on. If we do the slow choke out 
for a melee, it's just uh, unfortunately too slow. So quick kill gets us bought. Just run off, grab the ledge, uh, and typically when he steps on the first one, I'll drop down. And then the other thing to make sure I just I try not to roll because sometimes if you roll too far right, he will see you, and you just go into melee mode. So straight down. Come up the stairs. You want to make sure you're high enough where you're going to get the insta kill. And from here, you can actually see that Flynn is engaging his guy. So all we need to do is just try to make it to the trigger as fast as possible. And there he goes. So that is the second one. That's, uh, again, it's easier from uh, just coming, you know, into the level. Uh, as opposed to from the checkpoint. Uh, the third one. Uh, this is chapter 3. We are officially in. This is the last encounter. Right after you arm the uh, bombs at the base camp. Uh, this is... I like calling this the free fling. Literally anybody can do it. There it is. All right, so with that one, um, this, one, this one is great because this guy always just seems to get massive speed if you do it right. Um, but it's easy. So you do you do the uh, the the quick kill, which you can get every time, just as long as you don't get stuck on the uh, the water pump. Um, you can get that quick kill extremely easy. Um, once I, I do just a little bit of a stall, but you're just waiting to time the roll into the body when it's going to be transitioning. So there's the transition. I mean, you can see he was already across the screen. We frame count from when we first see him. Oh, he's already on the back wall. Hold on. Okay. So there he is. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like ten or eleven frames it took. So a sixth of a second, essentially. <laughs> uh, but that one's literally free. Anybody can do it. That one's just hilarious every time for the most part. As long as you roll into the body, you'll get it. Uh, so the last one that we have uh, is in Chapter 7. Uh, we are not flinging a body this time. Uh, we are using Chloe to uh, fling some crates within the first encounter here. Um, all right, so let's show this off. There it is. Okay, so main thing with this in terms of getting it to work. Um is coming over here. Um I can still grab ammo and get this to work, by the way. Uh in terms of like the AKs. Uh I can still grab the ammo and get this to work. And pretty much the main thing is Nate has to be coming from the right side at the end of the gunfight for this to be more consistent. Yeah, and I mean, you can just see it absolutely get launched. There was another one I had um, where I went through the middle, went to the right. Um, I'll show this one off. This one didn't... It had a weird effect. I didn't get the fling. Like I thought I would, but it did something different. You can hear all the flinging, and then you you could see the uh that one. Right, one. Where is it? Like two frames of a crate. Uh, 
that's gone already? It's so fast, so... It's on the right side here. And this is like hunting for a Bigfoot. Oh. Oh, there it is. Unfortunately, it's all pixelated. Go a little slower. I mean, Chloe's hair is crazy too, which just makes it funnier. The wild Chloe hair. Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh, it was there and it's gone now. It's in frame for like. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so it must have launched like way up with a bunch of other crates just sliding around, but yeah, that's all I wanted to show off. Thanks. <laughs>